I also want to speak to you without the filter of the fake news. The dishonest media, which has published one false story after another, with no sources, even though they pretend they have them, they make them up in many cases. They've become a big part of the problem. They are part of the corrupt system. When the media lies to people, I will never, ever let them get away with it. I will do whatever I can that they don't get away with it. Well, that was President Trump last weekend blasting what he calls unfair treatment by the mainstream media. And at least one Democrat seems to agree with him. Former Rhode Island Governor and Senator Lincoln Chafee calling the full onslaught against Trump tiresome. As you may know, Governor Chafee served as a Republican senator before being elected as the state's independent governor and then switching to the Democratic Party in his run for president, also as a mid, mid governorship, if you will. He joins us now uh, live from Rhode Island. Governor, it's nice to have you on the program. Thank you, Jenna. Why did Glad you choose those words, tiresome? Why, do you, why did you feel that way? Well, it's a four-year term, and we are the greatest country in the world because of our Constitution. And uh, by the Constitution, Donald Trump is our president. And for those that are not happy about that, I didn't vote for him. And I disagree with 99.9% .9 of his policies, but he's the president. He won the Electoral College. And our system of government will work. Uh, the branches of power, uh, the, the legislature will check him. Uh, the, their checks and balances. Uh, so let's let him uh, govern is the way I, I feel about it. And what's been the reaction to those comments? I think others feel the same way, that it's, uh, you turn on the, the TV and it's just over the top, criticism. And um, I, I think a lot of Americans do want to move on. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, well, I, we certainly hear that in our program quite a bit. I'm curious, your, just on your personal experience, because you've been able to fill so many different leadership roles, and at times a member of different political parties. Based on what you've experienced, did you experience a double standard when you were a Republican versus a Democrat versus an independent in, in the way that the media covered you? Well, I was always a liberal Republican when I was a Republican, and I've always stood for the same things. I've never changed uh, on my positions. I've always been socially liberal and very con uh, fiscally conservative. That's never changed. I've been a councilman and a mayor, as you said, a United States senator and a governor. Uh, and I don't think there are too many out of 250 million Americans, uh, maybe 10, uh, that have been a U.S. Senator, Governor, and a Mayor. And so that's all three, uh, learning all three uh, levels, the federal level, the local level, the state level, and how they work, because I've done it. And I did feel when I ran for president uh, that the fix was in for Secretary Clinton. They wanted, the mainstream media did want Secretary Clinton, and the rest of us really didn't, weren't given a shot, a fair shot. And the debate was really, the, the CNN debate was uh, really the, uh, the, the, uh, the main arena where it just was not fair. There were only five of us. I got eight minutes out of two hours. It's, there's got to be a better system. Because in the end, uh, I don't think I'm being disrespectful, but Secretary Clinton was not a good candidate in the end. So how do you, because th the, there's both Republicans and Democrats that feel that way, that, they're, that certain, there are certain chosen ones when it comes to politics, and they get the better slice of the pie. What do you think fixes that? Well, I guess as a, as a Democrat now, uh, especially during the debates, we've just got to work it out. Uh, the Republicans had 18 or so candidates, and so you can't, they can't all be given the same amount of time. But when you have only five, we've got to work it out so that it's a, sure. a more fair uh, opening for the American people to make a decision. Do we like these ideas or don't we? But if you don't get a chance to uh, share them, I was never invited on a Sunday morning talk show, those Sunday morning uh, network shows. Uh, and I, as I said, it, there's not too many Americans that have been a U.S. Senator, Governor, and a Mayor. So I'm curious about that. What advice would you give President Trump? Just based on, not, I know you disagree with him as far as policy, but he is new to D.C., and that's a great thing, according to a lot of his supporters. But is there any piece of advice that you shared with him on, on how he can lead in that city and lead effectively? Well, Jen, I think he's uh, similar from my experience. Uh, Jimmy Carter came in uh, as an outsider, came as governor of Georgia, and it's just difficult to come into the Beltway, into the Capitol. It, there's just so much institution there uh, as an outsider, and it's just going to take time. And uh, I think Jimmy Carter had a rough start. 
uh, but now looked back on as a good president. And I guess he had his troubles. But uh, it's going to take time to learn how inside the Beltway works. And as you said, just give him a little time. We'll give him a little time, and we'll have you back as well. Uh, Governor Chafee, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Jenna.